Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're counting down the 10 Ricardo Elfinita Lopez best knockouts. Number 10. Ricardo Lopez vs Rayton Applesore Brooklyn. On December 2, 2000, defending IBF Junior Flyweight title Lopez beat Rayton Applesore Brooklyn by TKO at 2-11 in round 3 of 12. For continuous ownership of the title, is Joe Lewis holding the heavyweight title. He moved up 4 pounds in weight. And it's much tougher for her. Warapin's gonna have to get in there and make the fight if there's gonna be. Another right hand lead by Lopez and a little left hook inside. Warapin landed a straight left and now maybe he learned it from reading Herman Hesse. Boy, that hurt. Yep, that hurt. Look at that left uppercut, left hook, right, straight right hand up the middle. And now, the right hand lead. Off balance, they can't do it again. The right staggers Warpine backward as Lopez in perfect position exercises leverage, fires combinations along the ropes, and wobbles Warpine again. Warpine has been susceptible to the knockout since moving up in weight. Well, it's been a knockout night so far. Christy Martin got the early knockout. William Jaffe got a relatively easy knockout. And Ricardo Lopez has Ratanapa Warapin going against the ropes. I think Warapin, who originally was a kickboxer, needs to do some kicking, otherwise he's out of here. And he's out of here now. Richard Steele seeing enough. Number 9. Ricardo Lopez versus Myung Sub Park. On December 7, 1996, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat Myung Sub Park by TKO at 2.22 in round 1 of 12. Whereas the last, in the last fight, the referee was perfect. In this fight, he's absolutely lost. Because he gets very upset with himself if he doesn't. Well, now I wonder if in the script for the 49ers, uh, as we throw it back, the script for this one was go out and do a certain thing differently well, because of the uh, challenger. <laughs> Uh, Lopez, very patient at the start, not in a hurry, but a superb finisher, a student of the game. The big one, too. There you go. Surgical right, master of the uppercut. There's the left uppercut, doubles up with the left uppercut, a straight left going strictly with the left there. Then a combination by Ricardo Lopez and opening up early here on the challenger. You know, I'm a little bit surprised. He rocked him with that one, too, and didn't really come in and jump on him, which is something certainly I would have done in most fighters would. Known to wear opponents down, but he's going for the quick finish tonight. Boy, is he ever. I don't think I've ever seen him this fast. I don't think I've ever seen him go after a guy this fast. Whoa. Well, sweet of this, but a floors the challenger point. Less than a minute remaining in round one. Uh, I don't believe Will it should continue? continue? Oh, I don't think so. It does continue, but for how long? Lopez looking to finish it off. A left cut, a combination of that set. Chuck Cassett steps in. Number eight. Ricardo Lopez versus Alex Sanchez. On August 23, 1997, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat defending WBO mini flyweight title Alex Sanchez by TKO at 158 in round 5 of 12. あ、今なかなかね。ピードの面ではね、若さ、若い方はそれは早いに決まってますけれども。落ちたものが。あ、今も左アッパーですね。ボディに届きました。かなり深かったんですけれども。おっと、右を振ります。飛んだ左。あ
Lopez beat defending WBC mini flyweight title Hideyuki Yohishi by TKO in round 5 of 12. そうですね。これはね、あと 1。Number 6. Ricardo Lopez vs. Zolani Pidolo. On September 29, 2001, defending IBF Junior Flyweight title Lopez beat Zolani Pidolo by knockout at 132 in round 8 of 12. Look, Vince, you know, we've, we've seen fighters in there. Straight right hand land. Hopkins was expected to be a sellout originally. Upwards of 1,500. Good left hook by Lopez. And Pidolo was definitely wobbled by that hook. They have one second out of the fight. Straight right hand by Lopez, but Patello in the job. And the fact that he attended military school for six years, I've never heard of a fighter who went to military school before. And Patello appears to have injured him. I mean, I mean, they would what? What would they do to him? I mean, would they have to strip him? I mean, they, all these people have come. They've bought tickets. Huge amounts of money have been spent here. Meanwhile, Ricardo Lopez's more accurate punching is beginning to take a tremendous toll on Zelani Patello. And now Lopez seems to sense that he has a chance to finish. Has to stay the course. That's why he's 49-0-1 in 50 fights. And Patello goes down. As much from exhaustion as from Lopez's left hook. Five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't nine. want anymore. He does not want a long month in New York. A long way from home. Number five. Ricardo Lopez versus Manny Melkor. On December 18, 1993, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat Manny Milkor by knockout at 2.01 in round 11 of 12. <laughs> あと、左連打、そして右。出ていきます。ああ。気持ちで、え、でもいいし、ああ、このダウン。グラグラっと Number 4. Ricardo Lopez vs. Yamil Carabayo. On December 10, 1994, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat Yamil Carabayo by TKO at 110 in round 1 of 12. But with the red trim to the left of your screen is Yamil Carabayo. The champion is Ricardo Lopez and he is a good one. He's from Mexico City. Comes into this tilt 38 no with 28 knockouts. Last time out, if you've been watching King Vision around the world, you know that he knocked out the tie opponent in the very first round of that fight. Emil Caraballo has a record of 12-4-1 with four knockouts to his record, more of a boxer than a puncher, 
but he's the pride of Cartagena, Colombia, and he just walked into a pretty good right hand by little Ricardo Lopez. As I take a look at my tail of the tape, Lopez is an inch taller that weights exactly the same at 104 pounds. Ricardo Lopez at 27 years old is two years older than Caraballo. He has a one inch reach advantage over Caraballo. And they're both giving up victory. Down goes the challenger already. I don't know if he can recover. It's up to four and five and six. He's not going to make it. He doesn't even bother to count him out. Number three, Ricardo Lopez versus Olive Villamore. On March 16, 1996, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat Hala Villamore by TKO at 0-40 in round 8 of 12. I had three fights go to just anything big yet. Lopez, tremendous puncher, but not only accumulation of punches. He says he doesn't come back with two or three counter. He is good. Bob, Bobby's remarkable height. He must see something. Hi. All right, that's it. Goes on for the WBC Strawweight Championship. Ricardo Lopez. Those moves, you couldn't hit him. There was no way to find it. Oh, he rocked him there. I think he kind of tripped on his leg. Oh, that was too solid being hunted down. This could be a matter of time. You know, he's just... Left hook. Crisp left hook. Oh, straight right hand. Beautiful. You see the... Oh, Lopez with a solid straight right hand. Four at the time. And oh. he hasn't looked back. Oh, what a there great he goes. uppercut. The time has come here. What a great Four. uppercut, Bobby. He, now he can't get up. He doesn't Ten. want it now. He's, he's gone. Nine. Forget about it. It's over. It's over. Number two, Ricardo Lopez versus Rocky Lynn. On October 11, 1992, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat Rocky Lynn by TKO in round 2 of 12. Number one, Ricardo Lopez versus Singh Prasad Kita Case. On August 22, 1992, defending WBC mini flyweight title Lopez beat Singh Prasad Kita Kaysen by TKO in round 5 of 12. De Ciudad Madero, Tamaulipas, si se puede decir así, ha sido el señor López Nava, que está ya blandando poco a poco al retador a fuerza de... Que es un hombre que siempre va adelante, lo va a la izquierda, no tiene que ver nada con este... Sin proceso, sin proceso, va hacia adelante, de siempre va a la izquierda, el pobre de México. Ojalá, qué bueno que me acordé de ellos, porque... ¡Vámonos! ¡Qué cruzado, qué bárbaro! ¡Qué disparo! Y lo dejó de cara a la blanca, así con los brazos casi en cruz... Thank you for watching please like, comment and subscribe.